Hi, we're from Shappensea Primary and we've come to the Orkney mainland to find out more about renewable energy. Our whole island is trying to become more environmentally friendly and our school is doing a lot too. We've even fitted solar panels to our school roof. Today, our group is going to meet up with Mrs Lenklater from the European Marine Energy Centre, EMEC for short. She's going to tell us some more about creating renewable energy from wave power. And our group is off to meet Mr Johnson from Scott Renewables who is going to tell us about tidal power. It's going to be an interesting day. See you later! Bye! Hi everybody, welcome to EMEC. I hear you have some questions for me. We'd like to know more about your work. What does EMEC do? EMEC is the world's only wave and tidal test centre. We're like a big outdoor laboratory at sea. We test machines, both wave and tidal machines, and we do world leading research into marine renewable energy. The research is important because renewable energy is one of the best ways of tackling climate change. And there's huge potential all around the UK for marine renewables. There's 17,000 kilometres of coastline around the UK where we could have wave energy. And in the next few years, just around Orkney, we think we'll be able to power 750,000 homes from wave and tidal energy. So why is this research taking place in Orkney? Research is happening right here in Orkney because it's an island group in the north of Scotland which sits in between the Atlantic Ocean and the North Sea. That means that all the water gets funnelled back and forth in between the islands. That is perfect for creating big wave and tidal potential. Can you tell us about some of the wave devices being tested and how they work? Yes, the, the first wave device that was tested here was called the Palamis machine and this was like a big bendy sea snake. So it sits on top of the water and rides the waves and the bending movement is what creates the energy. Another device that's being tested here at the moment is Aquamarine's Oyster machine. The oyster is a, a big flap in the sea which moves back and forward and pushes water through some pipes and through a turbine on the shore which creates the energy. Thanks for answering our questions. Now we know how to generate electricity from waves. Let's go and see how the other group are getting on. Thanks Alana. We've come to another part of Stromness to meet Mr Johnston from Scott Renewables who's going to tell us about tidal power. Let's go and meet him. Thanks for your time today. Can you tell us about how we get renewable power from tides? Well, there's lots of ways we can, we can do this. Um, generally, what we're trying to do is capture the energy, the flow of the water that comes in between all the islands here. Um, we can do this a bit like underwater wind turbines. Um, what we do is we use rotors like this. As the water moves past, the rotor turns, and it's attached to a generator, and we can generate electricity. How do you know that devices will work? So what we do is we build small scale models. We build models that's maybe 40 times smaller than the, the, the real life ones, so they're quite cheap to make. We can test them in facilities like this. We can test them in currents and in waves. We can measure how much power they produce. How much of Scotland's power needs could come from wave or tidal? Well, um, Scotland has a huge resource in, in wave and tidal. Um, tidal probably the best resource in the world. And over the next sort of 10 to 15 years, we're looking to generate around 1,200 to 1,500 megawatts of power. What other benefits will renewables bring to Scotland? Currently, Scotland has about 80,000 um, green jobs at the moment. Over the next 10 to 15 years, that's going to be maybe another 50,000 jobs. And out of that 50,000, around 5,000 of that jobs will be in wave and tidal energy alone. Which is best, wave or tidal? Well, it's a difficult um, question to answer that one. I think we need them both. Um, that's the answer. Wave energy um, is, is mainly the up and down motion of the waves, so you can capture that energy. Tidal energy is the flow of the water in between the islands and the tidal currents. Um, the difference being um, wave energy maybe has a much larger resource, but it's not as predictable as tidal energy. Tidal energy is very predictable, and we can predict it years in advance. But maybe tidal energy has a slightly smaller resource. Um, so, the, we, we, the answer is we need them both. Thanks very much for answering our questions. Now we're going to meet up with the other group to find out how they got on. We really enjoyed our visit today. It's an exciting time for renewable energy. 
It is good to know that Scotland and Orkney are leading the world in research. Harnessing the power of the sea will help tackle climate change and create lots of new jobs too. We'll be keeping up to date with EMIC and all that's happening and we'll hope you will too. Bye! Bye.